Hi guys, Fonzie here from GT Performance. Um, today we just want to show you a little bit about uh, our new Mustang headers that we've done. A pretty fancy piece. Um, they're double step, means inch and three quarters to start with. Comes up to a bigger primary pipe, uh, inch and seven eight um, to a three inch collector. Very nice piece, uh, fully polished. Nice merge inside, nice tip. Beautiful welding, as you can see on the end uh, parts down there as well. Good quality item. So we've uh, taken a lot of time to actually make these and make them fit. But before we get too far into some of the other advantages, we want to show you why you own one of these Mustangs that you should replace them. I know a lot of people are happy with their performance on their Mustang, but once you probably see the header, you might change your mind. So this is a standard header. Okay, you go, oh yeah, it doesn't look too bad until I show you the rear pipe. That is your rear header on a Mustang that was delivered in Australia 2015 to 21. It's not even an inch long. So if you really want to make your Mustang and uh, give it everything it's got and uh, what it should deserve, we've made these pipes. These pipes fit on. They're extremely easy to fit compared to some of the other brands that are out there. We spent a lot of time to actually make sure it's specially designed hook system so you can leave the bolts in and hang them on and they work a treat. They make a lot more power as well and they do sound great. So that's basically one side and then we've got the other side as well. So cool piece and what we'll do now is actually show you what they do on the car and um, they improve the sound, they improve the performance. You don't have to open up the Mustang. This one's a 218, it's got the Gen 3 motor, direct injection, 12 and a half to one comp. These are a cracker, these are an underrated car. People don't know much about them, or didn't say much when they do. The basically this model over the Gen 2 is a huge difference. We'll go and test this car, but it doesn't matter if you've got a Gen 2 to Gen 3. They all come with this very poorly done header. So we'll give it a belt on the dyno now and um, we'll give it a run and then see we come up we'll talk about the graphs and show you visually what it does and on the dyno graph to show you how much of an improvement. So we'll get on the rollers. Hi guys, Fonzie here from GT Performance. Another Ford. Uh, we've got the fat body style on here, pretty impressive, looks pretty cool. And what we've done to this is um, basically what every Mustang should have, our new headers, 4-in-1 double step header, which we showed you a bit about uh, yesterday, I'll, I'll splice that in, or if we haven't spliced in, we will, and we're running uh, an engine intake, a couple of mods from GTP on them, we find them to be the uh, best, we've done a few little tweaks of our own to uh, improve in them. Um, this is a manual version, so these make uh, a little bit more power than the auto. Uh, so we'll give it a run, just going to show you what an FN can do, that's a Gen 2 Coyote. Uh, so they're a little bit behind the FN, but realistically with a set of headers, these respond really, really well. We're going to run it up, uh, for some of you guys that don't realise, there's a few different tricks and everything else, there's engineering modes to get these cars to run on the dyno correctly, and also we'll be running this car in 50 gear. Uh, we're going to ask why we're running in 50 gear. The gear ratios in your 6 speed here, Okay, trust the old HP tuners for that one. We are fifth gear, one to one. One to one means no drivetrain losses or less, and that's the gear that we will choose to do it. So what we'll do, chuck the headphones on, and um, turn up the music, we'll give it a run, and see what the exhaust does, and we'll overlap, so give it a run. Okay guys, a very, very healthy 338 rear kilowatts. And just remember, this is the early model uh, FM. 
so it's a huge increase over the standard. Um, what I do have is some overlays which we can show you. So, get rid of some of these cars here. So what we've got there, that's what it made there, 338 rear wheel kilowatts. Okay, so what we have here is basically the two comparative cars, both were manuals, and the only two differences between the green line and the blue line, uh, one had headers, one had standard. Now, when I mean headers, that's our new double step. The other chain was one in the blue car, had a Roush intake from memory, which we can click on that and have a look. Yep, Roush intake and had Roush rear cans. So the biggest difference being is that that's basically the headers and up top, that's huge uh, difference in power. So if you've got a Gen 2 or Gen 3, you need a set of these headers. This is our torque figures as well. And look at the difference here. It doesn't lose anything from the get go, power all the way to the cross. So, there's no downfalls, do yourself a favour, got a Mustang, get a tune, set of Ramjet headers from GTP, good intake, we do recommend at the moment, we have our own but at the moment mass production, in gen, uh, they seem to work the best. So I hope, hope this helps you out guys, I've been doing your Mustang mods, I know there's a lot of pitfalls and traps and everything else, um, we race these cars at the track, we do these tests, it's not the internet, it's not the pub talk, real talk, real data to show you real testing against other products. As I said, we'll clip into early and we'll show you the actual other header. It had a one inch primary pipe. You can understand why when you put a set of headers on these, they go like stink. So as I said guys, uh, keep following our videos on Australia Speed. Any good products out there for your Fords, Holden or Jeep, plenty on, plenty to watch. Hope to speak to you soon. Thank you. Okay guys, we've just uploaded our cam loop tune. So, pretty impressive. You've got that uh, cam loop. If you have an end gauge, we can put it 